Welcome to QuantUX. This is the second part of our tutorial, how we did the password experiment. Once we have created the prototype, we have to run the tests. We navigate back to the project overview and select the share button. You can get a share link that you can share with your testers. You can also click on the run test button to launch the simulator. Once the simulator is loaded, you can run the test in it. If you want to run the test on your smartphone, just scan the QR code. Now you can get back to the project overview, click on the test tab and you can see that there's a screen recording. You can now review the screen recording if you want to see how the people interacted with your prototype. If you have a lot of videos, it might be very cumbersome to review them all. That's why you can create tasks. Click on the Add Task button and enter a name, for instance, Show Password. This task means that the user has clicked on the Show Password button. We enter also a description. And once we have done that, we can click on the Edit Flow button. This will launch a simulator where you can just click on the button, click Stop, and you will see the events that have been recorded. We are just interested in the Show Password event, so we delete the other event. Now if you go to Analyze, you can see that there is a task, the Show Password task, and you can see the KPIs from this task. If you navigate back now to the test section and open the screen recording, you will see that QuantUX has for you identified the show password task and annotated it in the video player. The show password task has only one event, so QuantUX can't measure the duration of the task. Let's try another task. Let's take for instance the entire login process. We create a new task, we give it a name and we enter the description. Afterwards, we edit the flow and we record the entire interaction. In this case, we are only interested in two events, the view lock screen event and the view success screen event. In the analysis section, you can find now a new task, the login task. If you click on details, you can for instance see that it took 16 seconds to perform the task. Now I want to create another task, the review task. So I enter a name, enter a description and I record the flow. The interesting part of the review task is that the user enters the correct password, clicks on show, and then reviews the password if it is correct, and only then submits. Please note that it is in this case important to check the do not allow events in between checkbox at the bottom. You can now go back to the analysis section and review the new task and its KPIs.